can see I slept with my head down in the trunk and I uh, made myself a little nest. Chris and his dog Brad, Foggy and Brad, time to get some breakfast and wake up a little. Brad, are you ready to hike? Foggy and Brad and I are headed southbound on the Appalachian Trail down to Max Patch. And later on this afternoon, French Dip will meet us at Max Patch for kind of some wanderlusty camping. Pretty excited. Foggy, <laughs> you excited? Yep. I remembered a whole lot of this section. I haven't hiked here since spring break of 2016. Um, and just most of it didn't feel really familiar to me, but when we walked up to Walmart, Walnut, Walmart, oh my God, Walnut Mountain Shelter, um, I remembered exactly coming here in the snow, sitting in the corner and reading a book on my phone and eating like 10 tortillas. Um, it was a really special day and it's nice to remember it. Also, just a helpful hint, I would not recommend sleeping here because this floor is super crooked. When I hiked this originally in, I think, exact area of the trail where I met this couple, we talked for just a quick minute. And then a couple days later, one of them followed me on Instagram. So I followed them back and I've like watched their lives for the past two years. It's the way that people become part of your life just in a chance meeting on the trail. I mean, I've never seen them again. It's nice to just see where life has taken them. I think they're getting married soon, so congratulations and best wishes. So we are now at the summit of Max Patch, and I don't know if you got the impression from our quick little hike up here, um, but it's a kind of a zoo. It was a million tents, uh, some girls in wanderlust hats with Vera Bradley duffels, um, a wedding over there, and I think an engagement. So. And I'm excited to cowboy camp with 50 neighbors. Yeah, we're 
Life is a rich tapestry. Let me show you this stove working super great. Look at it burn. <laughs> <laughs> that one's good. The little flame that never gave up. This one is not. Esbet, you're the worst. Ever the master oh. of great surprises. Look who we just found. It's French Dev! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. wanted to fly a kite but he forgot a kite so he's flying his tarp if you were wondering how my new esbit stove worked uh, the answer is it didn't. <laughs> it just didn't work. We are in Hot Springs. Uh, we ran down the trail to Zach's French Dip's car um, and then drove over to Hot Springs. We're gonna hike a little bit today, but first we got breakfast. So, a uh, special vegan burrito for Mr. French Dip, uh, another burrito for Mr. Foggy, and then. Mine is. A bread plate for me. So we had no real plan for today, ever, at any point. Um, so we ended up coming down to Hot Springs, having an amazing breakfast, and then deciding instead of hiking five miles almost entirely uphill, like six, six and a half miles, yeah, almost entirely uphill, why don't we just uh, walk on the flat part of the AT <laughs> by the French Broad? So. There's French Dip. There's old Brad. There's me. And there's Buggy. He looks so serious. <laughs> so we've had a really great morning just hanging out and laughing about all sorts of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you spelled that too, right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, it's been a good trip. It's been a really great trip. Pony boy. Pony boy. Stay gold, pony boy. <laughs> <laughs> 